How have you thought about becoming <clears throat> the direct to consumer guy in New York City for fast growing startups? I think this is a really good place to end the conversation. You started off doing marketing for a fast growing water company, Hint Water, and then you sort of worked your way up through VaynerMedia. And then now, if someone wants to launch a direct consumer company in New York City, they're going to come to you first. How have you thought about developing that brand and that reputation? I haven't. <laughs> That's the funny part because everything that I try to put out on the internet is never like, oh, this is a very great thought leader quote, or, you know, I need to write one article a week, or I need to put out a blog. It's more just if I walk out, you know, some, some weeks I have really good meetings and I'll walk out of meetings thinking, you know, that was a really interesting insight. I'm going to put that on Twitter because I think a lot of other people would benefit from it. Or, um, you know, a couple weeks ago I did, or actually a couple months ago, Trends by The Hustle asked me to do this presentation on how, to, how I think about launching a D2C brand. And it was basically just a massive compilation of examples from things like just work I've done over the last couple of years. And, um, and also curating really good examples of, of what I thought other people did really well. And it ended up being like a 40 page deck. I did, I gave that presentation live to the hustles audience and I realized the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. And so then when I went to, you know, um, Sarah's podcast, for example, um, I said, you know, I'm going to take the exact same deck and I'm just going to make it like completely open to the public. And, um, and I gave it to everybody who listened to that podcast. And then I decided, you know, a few weeks ago that I'll just put this out on my Twitter and whoever wants to see how I think about launching a brand can just enter their email here and they'll get an email with a link to the deck. And it's never been like, oh, I need to put out this or I need to go make sure that I'm mentioned in these articles or I need to like, there's, there's no proactiveness to it at all, which you've probably come to learn. Um, in fact, I'm probably extremely lazy about it. And it's just like whenever something, uh, you know, if I, if I come out of something and think that's, that's really cool or that's a great insight or, you know, like sometimes I'll have a glass of whiskey and I'll be writing copy and I'll just think, you know, the best copywriting comes from two glasses of whiskey. I'll just put that out on Twitter and like all these random like tips and tricks that I kind of pick up on myself or become aware of, I just put them out in the public and, and then other people see that and they, and they just kind of gravitate toward it because they're also, you know, they might be in the same space. They might be a reporter in the space. They might be an investor in the space. They might be uh, another entrepreneur in the space. Um, but it's more just building, I guess you could say it's kind of like building in public where any, anything I do or any kind of insights that I figure out, I just put it out on the internet to kind of just share with the world as well. Um, and I found that, you know, initially I used to think like, okay, if I take my best ideas or the things that I've learned that have, you know, just crushed and put them out, then I'm essentially creating my own competition or I am stopping myself from getting to the next level because somebody else might do it faster than me. But it's actually quite the opposite where, you know, if you put it like we actually, we wrote that article, the customer acquisition pricing parade. And two weeks later we were in an office with um, Emmett Shine from Gin Lane. Like there's no way we would have just been able to say, Hey Emmett, can we grab a meeting? He would have been like, yeah, in three years, maybe. <laughs> <You know? laughs> But like you put out your thoughts in, a, in just kind of, a, I, I put them out in a very candid and authentic way. Um, and you just kind of find this really, you know, you find yourself immersed in a, in a very interesting community um, or a community builds around it, which is also really interesting.